being it's the first day of the year, you think about a lot of firsts. First kiss, yes. first love, yeah. uh, first car. So uh, let's talk about celebrities' first cars. Okay. So uh, Ludacris, friend of the show, he's been on Dish Nation a yes. few times. Do you know the first car he ever bought himself was an Acura Legend? Yeah. yeah. And uh, he put tons of miles on it. And he Two still has it. Yeah, he was yeah. on his album cover. Exactly. Get out of here. He was yeah. on his album cover, but there's a nice big old jet by it, too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he says he drove it to the jet, but that car has over 250,000 miles on it. You know what? Acura needs to be popular again. Yes. You can put that many miles and it still runs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good car. So Jay Seinfeld, he's rolling in money. He has one of the world's largest collections of Porsches in the world. But you know what his first car was? What? what? A Volkswagen Beetle, 1977 mm. edition. Oh, Herbie. Aww. A little goofy-looking car. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the uh, former president of the United States, Barack Obama. Before he had, like, a whole bunch of Secret Service dudes driving around in town cars, his first car was a little less than presidential. <laughs> it was a Ford Granada. Wow. So that looked like the car Kennedy got shot in. It kind of does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and being in Chicago, that could have been the car he got shot in. Hello? But, you know, thank God. Scarlett Johansson, you know she's rolling in dough, and she admits that she regrets buying a BMW Z4 as her first car. She says it was too fast and too wild. She ended up wrecking it. Oh. Oh, Lord. She said the airbag saved her life, though. Really? Yeah, when you're and young... And those things that come out of the front. <laughs> her, right. <laughs> her own personal airbag. Well, she's blessed. <laughs> Now, if you was to take a wild guess at what kind of car Vin Diesel would probably be driving, you know, as his first car, what would you say? Probably a Cougar. Well, his <laughs> first car was actually a 1978 Chevy Monte Carlo. He oh. bought it at an auction for $175, right? So as he's riding down the road, he was looking out the back window, realized there was smoke coming from it. He <laughs> purchased the lemon. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. Those Monte Carlos used to be really popular, oh, yes, though. Baby. I was say everybody wanted a Monte everybody Carlo. Everybody wanted a Monte Carlo. The rims on it to put you a 10-inch speaker in the back. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. What? Change out the radio system in what? the front. The kind when you pop it off and take it with yeah. you. <laughs> Something about that steel, exactly. Yeah, neighborhoods was everything. Yeah, do some upgrades. Yes. My first car was a 1986 Dodge Omni, and it taught me everything about cars. Everything really? that could have possibly happened on <laughs> went, wrong. Like that car went wrong. Like the muffler fell off, oh, windshield crap. wiper, the motor stopped working. Um, like the battery acid was leaking from the battery and it burnt a hole in the floorboard of the car. Dang. There was one point in time where I literally could have pulled the Fred Flintstone and stuck my feet through the bottom and of the car. Oh, my God. I loved and hated that car. Humble beginnings. Yes. Humble. Yes.